Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about queries in Azure boards. All right. So queries are very handy. Okay. So whenever you want to pull few work items based on few certain conditions, say for example, you want to pull the user stories which are uh, pending. Say if you want to pull out the user stories which are which has exceeded the target date. Say if you want to pull out all the open bugs. Okay, so you you might have quite a lot of conditions based on your project requirements. So whenever you want to filter the work items based on your requirements, in that situation query becomes very very handy. All right, so let's see how we can create and save a query in this particular video. Right, so I'm I I went into my uh, demo project. I went into my project online DevOps demo project, which I've been using for this video series. So here on the left hand side, I have something called boards. Under boards, we have something called queries. So I'm clicking on queries. All right, so this is how. Uh, currently, I have not created any queries, so it it looks really blank for me. So in case if you have added any uh, any queries or if you have added anything as favorites, it would have been displayed here. All right. So now let's start and create a new query. All right. I'm clicking on new query icon. So if you look at here, um, you know, before creating new queries, I will show you something here. So the, if you look at this, we have two things like uh, one is we have my queries and there is another thing called shared queries. All right. So my queries means the queries which are created by me for my individual purposes. You know, if I have I, if I have to customize based on my project requirements and it is something for my personal use. All right. So this is what comes under my queries and there is something called shared queries. So shared queries means if you want to create a query and share it with your team, in those kind of situation, you can use shared queries, which these kind of queries can be used by multiple people with whom you share the right kind of access. Okay, so these are the two types of queries that we can create. All right. So um, in case if you want to you know, uh, group all the queries in inside a particular uh, group or a module, then you can create a new folder as well. So there's a new folder option. So whenever I if I create, let's I will name this as a project gift card. All right. So this will I can select the folder here under my queries. I can create a folder. So here I have created a new folder. Similarly, if I have to create a folder under shared queries also, new folder under shared queries. Say I am creating project gift card and just one, two, three. I'm just naming, I'm just giving some random name. And if I click on OK, so you can see a new project called project gift, a new folder called project gift card one, two, three is created under shared queries. OK, now you can go into these folders and create and arrange your arrange or group your queries. Okay, so now if I create a new query, all right. So you can, so this is the query uh, area. So you can see by default it it gives you two classes. Like first one it gives you by default by selecting the field as work item type, and we have operator and values. So this is the default value that will uh, that uh, whenever you try to create a new query, this is the screen it will display. So once you come to the screen. So you can put on these values according to your requirement. Okay, so you can customize it based on your requirement. So here we have plus icon to add a new line into mark uh, to delete this filter line. And if you want to check any of these items, you can check that as well. And uh, we have and or our condition as well. You can select and or our condition. And here we have multiple here you have a field with multiple um, fields, right? So we have multiple fields here. I'm mainly concentrating on work item type. Similarly, if you want to filter based on title or test suit type or time criticality value area, anything you can use that particular condition. So for now, I will just focus on work item type and operator is 
we have equal to greater than or equal to like we have uh, contains does not contain and group whatever we have different fields okay so for now for simpler understanding i'm just keeping it as equal to for now all right and value is you can specify any kind of value that you need okay so if you want to filter the since since i have given the field as work item type you will get uh, epic feature issues user story and all so for example if i want to filter out all the user stories which are in progress okay so that's my condition so i want to filter out uh, all the user stories which are in progress so my work item type i have selected as user story here there's a second class which i can use here so the state i have selected the state and I equal to say i want to open uh, new or ready fine so i'm giving r so if i run the query you can see um, so it all right what is the mistake am i making so it gave me user story and it showed me everything else i'm putting and yeah because it it gave i gave the condition r so it displayed all the work item types whichever add new right so i'm just for i'm just giving and which will satisfy both the condition so now i am this i'm i have just filtered out all the user stories which are under new status okay so this is a, this is a very sample query okay so i am not writing any query i am just selecting the relevant type of fields so that the query will be automatically created so in case if you have multiple conditions you can add a new class by clicking on this add a new class icon okay so you uh, one thing to notice uh, you always have to save a query to use it okay so so where do you want to save your query like under my queries or under shared queries that is something you have to select so now i have selected my project gift card under my name so say um new user story all right so this is the query that i have created so if i go back so under my queries you can see we have project gift card folder and under that we have created a new query called new user story right i can click on it and view all the user stories which are under new status all right so this is how you can use a query to filter out the required details according to your requirement all right so now let's try something else under shared queries too okay so let's create a new query um say i want to filter out all the block items okay so work item so generally we use tags uh, to mark block in our earlier videos i have used a blocked tag to verify to actually make a note if it is actually blocked or not so i am filtering a tag here as well so you can see now there is a sing there is a user story which is under blocked status all right so here it is so i have filtered i have given the customized field which will filter out all the blocked user stories okay and now if i save this say blocked user stories okay this is a query that i have created under let me create it under shared queries project gift card 1 2 3 all right now i have created this and mm, all right so now i will go back to my queries section again so one thing to note here is you have created a query but if in case if you want to run the query you can directly run it from here so say i am running so so it will filter out all the new user stories okay and you can play with it you can edit it rename it delete it whatever you want to do and one thing to note in shared queries all right so you if you look at this uh, under my queries 
you had only four options run query edit rename and delete whereas when you come to shared queries you have one more additional column called security okay you have new query you have a new column called new query new folder rename delete and security so if we click on security so it, this will pop up a screen which will actually give you details with whom you have to share this uh, queries so this is a shared queries folder right so with for which team you have to share so those kind of information you can customize it here it here right we have project collection administrators we have build administrators contributors project admi administrators readers okay so these are the default groups that is uh, created for giving out permissions okay so you can give out the permissions here so uh, do you want to contribute for example project administrators do they want to contribute you can set it if you want if you want them to allow you can click on allow okay for example i do not want my readers to delete so okay so deny okay so if you can give specific kind of conditions based on your requirements all right so this is how you can create new and shared queries and save it under different folders based on your project requirements all right so i think that's pretty much what i wanted to cover but let me look at the screen and see if i missed out anything um i'm going to pause it on to free so yeah block user stories i can run the query here you can you can view the list of blocked user stories here so here in this particular screen you have something called results okay so this is the result of your query and on the right hand side you can see the user story details and we have something called editor where which we use to actually uh, create the new queries so we have an editor so you can edit anything you want uh for this particular query and there is something called charts currently we don't have anything okay if you want to create a new chart uh you know you can also create it here i know it's, i will make a separate video to show how to create a new chart and all for now i will leave it because this is for i'm just focusing on very basic stuff so i will cover this chart parts at the very last and yeah that's pretty much so once you make the changes in case if you want to make changes to the existing queries all you have to do is you have to save as okay save the query as under your specified folder and yeah that's pretty much it oh okay sorry guys i think i missed something so if you look at the file check box at the right hand corner query across projects so in there might be a situations where you are working on multiple projects and there might be and you want to customize your query by spanning your query across multiple projects so in those kind of situation you can click on this check box so that you will have access to multiple projects for which ever you have permissions and you can create queries accordingly okay so that is something i want to additionally highlight in this video all right okay guys so that's all what i want to cover as part of this particular video i hope you understood very basic steps about how to create new queries and how to run a query and how to save a query and how do you work with your queries and shared queries all right so in case if you have any queries please post it into the comment section thank you